Peas Knits, episode 18. Um, thanks for joining me. So just to start off with, um, I'm going to start off with my works in progress. And I have in this little um, Halloween bag by Lois Knitting's my bag. I've had this for a few years, but I really like it. I thought I would get it out and use it. And inside of that, I have two pairs of socks that I'm working on. The first one is um, Crazy Zauber Ball, and that is colorway 1699. And I'm using uh, five uh, five inch signature needles, size two, 2.75. And here's my first, I'm just doing a vanilla sock uh, with an afterthought heel. And there's my waist yarn for my afterthought. And this is just a standard vanilla sock uh, with 64 stitches around. And I have that on the needles. And then the next thing in this bag is um, Deborah Norville uh, Serenity Sock Yarn. And it's the colorway Chili. And I'm on my second sock of these. So this is the first one. And there's my afterthought uh, waist yarn. And then here is my second one. Oops, the yarn's a little tangled. So I am just, just put in, I've just put in the waist yarn on this one. Yep. And of course they don't match because I don't make my socks all match. <laughs> but um, yep, yeah, and that's in the colorway Chili uh, number uh, DN104-07. And I'm using Knitter's Pride Carbons, size 2, 2.75 for that. And these, this is a big box yarn, uh, big box yarn from, uh, big box <laughs> store. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this yarn is from a big box store. So I think it's probably like Michael's or um, Joanne, maybe I got it out. So that's all in this bag. And then um, maybe I need a sip of coffee. I think that might be it. I'm going to have a little bit. This is some um, pumpkin pumpkin coffee that I have with um, some almond milk in it. Okay, so um, in this, this the next um, Knitting's My Bag bag, um, this is my newer one that I got this year. Um, it's so cute with all these little costumes. There it is. And that's made by Lois. Uh, I have a few uh, works in progress in here. Two of them that I worked on. Oh, actually three. So let's see. The first one that I'll show is, sorry, I've got kind of a mess. This is what happens when I put two or three projects in a bag. So, and this one is Desert Vista Dye Works. Somebody's driving the school bus. So and that's a cute one. There's what the yarn looks like. That one is in this bag, and I've been working on that. Um, that one is on uh, flip sticks, uh, size 1, 2.5 millimeter needles. And I really like those. So They're kind of easy to bend, though, I noticed. So I have to kind of be careful. Don't hold them too tight. So that Desert Vista is in this bag. And then I have... Oh, I have a new project that I have not, uh, I, ju I just got the yarn like this last week for it, and um, I cast it on straight away. So this one came from Desert Vista Dye Works also. Let me just see if I can find the tag. There it is. Oh, can't see it. Well, okay, there you go. Pumpkin Pie is the colorway. And it's on her self-striping um, sparkle base. So because I needed some sparkly pumpkin pie yarn, evidently, because I, I just really wanted it. So 
Let me show you what I um, made. I have like half of one done, half of a, the project done. So I'm making these fingerless mitts out of it. <laughs> it's really cute. I like wanted them for fall. I thought that would be cute. And so with these, um, and then I'm on my, oops, I just dropped it. I'm on my second one, which is right here. So, and I'm at the, the cuff or whatever. And they went pretty fast, actually. Um, so this one is, um, I started off with um, 17 uh, on each needle, and I do for four, four needles just like this. Just see, I have a, there we go. So I start off with, with four um, Knitter's Pride Carbons, two, size 2, 2.75. And so I started off with 17 on each needle. And then what I did was when I got, um, so I did the ribbing because I kind of wanted it to be bigger for this part of my arm. And then when I got uh, through the ribbing, and I did kind of a short cuff. I didn't want it to be like super severe, you know, on my arm. And then I did a decrease like in this brown row. So I just did a decrease on the second one. So I decreased, I knit two together one on each needle. So I knit two together and then I knit the rest of the row, knit two together on the next needle, knit the rest of the row. So I did four actual decreases on this this brown stripe and that's what I did on the first one. And then I went ahead and knit all the way up. I did a, a buttonhole for the thumb and I just like cast off seven stitches and then I cast them back on on the next go around. And then I inside of here it was in the first um, row of the brown I did another set of decreases one on each needle so I knit two together on each needle so there was 15 stitches on each needle um, while I knit this part right here so it was smaller and it would fit better so that's what I did for those and I'll let you know how they turn out and then the last thing that's in this bag is uh, the Crazy Zauber Ball, this pink colorway. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Color 2254. And I have uh, these on size uh, 2, 2.75 Knitter's Pride Carbons. And there is the first one. It's kind of blown out from the window. Oh, there. You can kind of see it a little bit better back here, but... And then I'm on the second one. So here's the second one. So those are in this bag. Okay, and the next bag, I just have one project in it that I worked on. Let me put these away. <laughs> I have a stray needle that came out of somewhere. Mm. Oh, I think, oh, that was this. That was my Desert Vista. Let me put it back in here before I lose it. Okay, and then um, the next Halloween bag was this bag. <laughs> and this bag, uh, this was by Studio in the Green. And I have a few sock projects in here, but I just worked on one of them. So... On this one, I um, this one is the Regia uh, Floromania color. You can't even see the label, but it is uh, color 176. And I did some work on this one. I think I was maybe down here last time somewhere, but I just wanted to show the progress of the colors and how it looks. So, and then this is my afterthought uh, waist yarn. And this one is such a denser, um, it, it's like the yarn is thicker, and I'm using size 2, 2.75 uh, needles on this, but it's, it's, it's very thick, so these will be very warm. So, yep, and then, let's see, let me turn the page of my notes. The next thing, oh, okay. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. The next thing is um, 
this uh, snowman bag by Lois. Knitting is my bag. And it's really big. And I have like a bunch of yarn shoved in the bottom of it for this project. So I decided, um, I was watching a podcast and it was the Grocery Girls. And I was telling the, the one of my friends about um, this hat that they knit or they crocheted. Uh, I just dropped something just a sec. Anyway, um, I was telling my friend about this hat that they crocheted, and it um, it was, I think it was Jody who crocheted it, and it was like a bear hat. So it was like a hood, really, with ears, and anyway, so she wanted to see it, so then I queued it up, we were at work, and I queued it up on YouTube so she could just see what the bear hood looked like, and she really wanted one, so... Um, so this is the pattern. And now this this pattern has all different sizes in it. It is it's called the Bailey Bear Cowl and it's designed by Heidi May. It's a velvet acorn uh, pattern. And it has like from you could do like three to six months, six to twelve, twelve to eighteen, toddler, child, and adult and teen. So there's what it looks like. So I um I had looked online for a few colors that she was interested in, and I couldn't find them in the stores, the big box stores. So what I ended up doing was I just went to the store to see what I could find, and this is what I came up with. I came up with this Hometown USA Lion Brand, and the colorway is Santa Fe Tweed, color number 301. So that's what it looks like. And I got a few skeins of that. And it seems that you would only need, um, for the adult size, you would need uh, three skeins. So I might have gotten an extra one just because I didn't want to have to go back if it didn't, if it, if I ran out. So I started on it. I'm not done with it yet. But um, so it kind of bunches up like a cowl down here, down at the bottom. So when you put it on, it kind of bunches up like, like a cowl, like that. I'm not going to put it on right now because it's kind of hot. It's like in the 70s or something. And then there's where it splits apart for the neck. So, and then it will go up over the top and then I'll put the ears on. So, that is what I'm working on. So, <laughs> and I'm using a size M crochet hook. And that yarn is, um, Oh, super bulky, so it's really big. It, and the project goes really fast, I just need to get to it again. So I set it down for a little bit, and I need to get back to it. But I will finish it, and I will show it to you. <laughs> so, um, yep, there's what, it, there's what it looks like. How fun, right? <laughs> okay, so then the next project is... Oh, okay, so the next thing is... Um, let me set that down. Is... Um, Brew City Yarns. So I was watching a podcast and um, she was talking about um, their Halloween mini skeins. So I had ordered them, the, Holly, the Halloween mini skeins. And uh, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors come in it. So I ordered them for my blanket. And then a couple days later, another set came. And so I must have ordered it twice. So what I did was I balled what up one set and you know, I probably did order it twice. I just probably forgot. Um, so I have two sets and I was thinking, what, what could I do with two sets? Like maybe I could make a pair of socks, like one will be one, one will be another, or I could make a pair of fingerless gloves. And, and so, I was talking to my mom this morning on FaceTime and she said, I was like saying, what about the socks? What about the fingerless gloves? What about if I just used them as, um, you know, on my blanket and didn't, didn't use the second set or gave it to someone or something like that. So, um, so she said I should do, um, she said, don't do the socks. I don't know. So, and I was like, okay. And she said, I think you should do the fingerless gloves. And so we figured out it's like 200 and something yards, uh, you know, in each one. So I'm going to do like kind of a long set of fingerless gloves. And I'm going to go from color to color and I'm going to match, like, you know, start with the same colors and do it in stripes. 
So that's what my plan is for this. Okay. And then um, the next thing is, oh, okay, yes. <laughs> I was just looking at my notes. Um, so I don't remember exactly how this got started, but we were talking about how uh, the Day of the Dead is coming up. And I looked it up online, and I had saw that it was October 31st, so I thought it was tomorrow. So I was like, oh, I think, you know, like a couple of years ago, I knit some yarn um, that was called that, and it was from Desert Vista. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to go look for that. And then I was talking to my mom, you know, this morning on Facebook, and she, or Facebook, FaceTime, and uh, she said, hey, let's look it up. Let's just see what that is, the Day of the Dead. And so it, it's called, um, oh my gosh, so my Spanish is not very good. I took French in school, but Dia de los Muertos. See, I'm sorry. Um, so I butchered that. But I made a pair of fingerless gloves a couple of years ago with <laughs> Desert Vista yarn that's called that. Dia de los Muertos. So, and that stands for, or that uh, is translated as the Day of the Dead. And it's a holiday in Mexico City where they... I'm just looking at my notes, honor the deceased and they visit the graves and leave gifts and they leave like sugar skulls. So anyway, so I got out and I have kind of a lump in here cause I have a bracelet on, but, um, so this is what <laughs> I thought I'm going to get it out and just show it to you. And, and it looks like I matched it up even when I made them. Isn't that cool? So I started, <laughs> they kind of match the colors. So, yeah. And this is uh this is her colorway and i really like them and i'm going to wear them and i i did see that it was october 31st november 1st and november 2nd but then some of them said it was just november 2nd so i don't i don't really know when it is but i'm going to wear them sometime in the next couple of days when it's cool so so there we go. And you know what? I decided I had them on and I was like, look, mom, they match. And we were talking about it. And then I was like, do you know what these look like? They kind of look like that bus on the Partridge family. I feel like it's those same colors. Don't you feel like that? <laughs> yeah, totally. I was like, whoa. So, okay. Anyway, so the next thing that I was going to talk about is uh, tea time. And, um... I ordered some tea that I've tried, I've sampled a few times now. This uh, Earl Grey, oh my gosh, you totally cannot see it. Um, Earl Grey with lavender, black tea, and it's from uh, tealeaves.com. And so they were talking about this on the um, Grocery Girls. They were talking about this tea that they got in... Vegas, I think it was. They ordered tea up to their room or something like that. And they said it was like some outrageous amount. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm not going to even look that up because I wasn't going to spend whatever it was she said it was. And then I watched the, I was rewatching it, I think, like while I was getting ready one morning. And um, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to look and see if it really is like, I don't remember what she said, like $47. I don't know. It was like something crazy. Like I wasn't going to pay for tea. But I was like, I'm just going to check it out and see if that's really what it costs. And it didn't. I don't know. I think there was some sort of confusion or something. But it wasn't that expensive. I can't remember what it was. But I ordered a box. And um, I definitely will order it again because it was really good. I have used like almost most, like half of the box. And this is what it looks like, the Earl Grey with lavender. And it is very delicious. It's good in the afternoon for a little pick-me-up. It has a little caffeine. And um, she said it was made by um, chefs or something. They, like, you know, put the tea leaves together, and it was, like, real special tea. So I really like it. So I will definitely be getting this again when I run out. Uh, the next one, I brought like four up this time that I like that I've been drinking. Um, the next one is uh, this Harney and Sons African Autumn. It's an herbal red bush with cranberry and orange. So I was, that 
now this I've had in my cupboard for a little while and it's really delicious it, it is um, it's cranberry and orange so it's really good I really like it and then uh, the next one that I was going to talk about is um, this is a David's tea and then when I when I get uh, that it from them I put it on the top because I kind of have it in a cupboard so you can just see the tops instead of the sides so it comes with a big sticker for the side and I just kind of cut it off and then of course I put Hello Kitty on it because you have to have Hello Kitty on David's tea so this one is uh, pumpkin patch black tea this is one of my favorites in the fall uh, and this one is it has uh, pumpkin pumpkin spice black tea blend complete with currants pineapple and a hint of dark molasses so that's what it tastes like it's really good okay and then the last tea that I was going to show is um, okay so I now I found out about this kind of a while ago I went to P.F. Chang's and I'm sure I got a salad or something and um, I got a pot of tea there and this was the tea I got and it was the most delicious tea I had had um, it was so good and I asked the the chef there or whatever whoever was bringing the tea I asked what brand it was and if I could have an extra bag and they gave me an extra bag but it's called citrus spice herbal tea and it's by revolution and it's caffeine free and this is what it looks like so it's super delicious it comes in like this triangle can and it was so good so um, this is one of my favorites and this brews a pot of tea so it brews 10 pots of teas with the little um, tea bags I don't know if you can there they are okay so that is my um, my fourth kind of like fall tea that I really love and then um, my last thing is I have a finished object. <laughs> so um, I finished a pair of socks. Uh, I finished uh, a Gnome Acres uh, pair of socks, pump pumpkin spice latte. And here they are. So they're so cute. So these are just a standard vanilla sock pattern. Uh, 64 stitches, size 2, 2.75. And they're on the tweed. It's a uh, scruffy gnome Donegal tweed. Um, so it's 85% uh, merino and 15% Donegal tweed. So I really like this yarn. I can't wait to try them on and wear them and, and see how I like them. I might next time knit them with a slightly smaller uh, needle to get just a little bit tighter. Um, at least the ribbing, I think. So, looks, they're so cute. Okay, and then this is how much I had left. So, I'll have enough to put in my, um, my blanket, my crochet blanket. And I'll definitely get her yarn again. I really liked it. That's everything for today. Thanks for joining me. Bye.